afforded. The After School Action Plan is a project being piloted in Cape Town. Connect Community Development is helping schools in Cape Town townships get Wi-Fi for students. As we saw earlier in the program, the internet opens people up to loads of possibilities. Joining us from Cape Town to tell us about all of this is Connect Community Development strategist Murray Ingram. Hello and welcome, Murray. Hi, Spumilele. Um, now, could you tell us a bit about um, the Connect Community Development? Um, connect has been operating in Kailiche uh, informally for about five years. Um, we've been operating formally for about 18 months. Um, and we operate uh, in three sp spaces, um, in educational support, um, in youth development, and in enterprise development. All right. And why have you chosen Kailiche and why have you chosen to do this in a township? Well, um, firstly, Kailich is uh, the Western Cape's biggest township. Um, secondly, we've been, as I said earlier, we've been working there in, in one way or another um, for approximately five years. Um, and really, the, 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 the Wi-Fi is a support mechanism for our after-school action plan. Tell us about that project, uh, the project of giving schools Wi-Fi. Why have we decided to do that? Well, we kind of have a philosophy uh, within Connect, and it's pretty simple. We really just believe that uh, township schools should be getting access to the best uh, and resources possible. Um, and when we started putting the after-school action plan together, we realized that in order to make the, the program as, as sustainable as possible, we needed to give both the, the children and their teachers and their coaches, etc., who are all part of the, the, the action plan, the, the, the possibility of connecting with each other and connecting uh, with other schools and connecting with schools and, and resources and infrastructure beyond uh, the Kailicha environment. Mm. You're piloting it at the moment, but could you just tell us about how you actually work? Do you identify the schools and then just go there, or do you work with the schools or work with the community in identifying the schools? Well, a big part of how Connect operates is, is we're a grassroots organization. Um, and because of our, our kind of track record in, in Kailicha, we have a, a good understanding of how the community operates. Um, and that starts with street committees, with community policing forums, with uh, the, the, the educational centers themselves. Um, and really, what we're doing is, is, is augmenting what, what the community itself is doing. Um, so the after-school action plan is, is a plan that we've implemented alongside the school, the school governing body, the principal in particular, and, and obviously the children and the parents as well. Um, and the plan really is to, is to assist the children to get access to resources, infrastructure, um, and a network that was previously unavailable to them. Um, a lot of what we're doing is really just giving kids what other children take for granted. Um, a good example in Kailiche is there's approximately 54 schools, and as far as we can tell, there's about six school fields. So that's really what we mean by resources, is, is giving kids, as, we, as I said, what other children really take for granted. It's interesting that you talk about resources, and a big problem in a lot of township schools would be computers. Do these kids have computers to be able to use the Wi-Fi? Absolutely. One of the earliest partners that came on board with us is a company called Learning Lab. And what Learning Lab did was set up uh, an, an after-school gaming lab uh, with the children in, in the primary school that we're working with. So we're working with the grade sixes at the moment, and each class gets a day or one day a week. Um, and essentially what the kids are doing is learning how to use computers through gaming. Um, and there's a whole process of sustainability within that program itself. Um, whereby we're starting with gaming and, and what Learning Lab are doing is, is ultimately trying to get kids to build games themselves. Um, the second thing that we're doing in the high yes. school is we're introducing something which has really taken off internationally, which is called the Raspberry Pi. And what the Raspberry Pi is, is it's a, a, a computer that teaches children how to code. Yes. Um, and we feel that's really important. Going forward, um, we feel it as, it's something that will give township children a competitive advantage if they were to able to really understand both the front and back end yeah. of a computer. Murray, um, there's a lot that you can talk about. Unfortunately, time is not on our side. And I bet the schools, are ha the schools and the kids are happy with this. 
Well, I hope so. I mean, really, yeah. I, I can't stress enough that, that the children are, are, are at the center of what we're doing. All right. Thank you, Murray. Um, that's Murray Ingram, and he is with Connect Community Development in Cape Town.